I just installed the new Reflex V3 from FMS in my FMS Ranger. Now, I took out this V2 version. You might be asking yourself, what's the difference between the V3 and the V2? Well, there are two major differences. One is I can change the parameters now. I can change the gains which is a pretty big deal. Before you were kind of locked into basically how they wanted uh, the system set up. If you wanted to change the throws and the gains were a little too high, you couldn't turn them down, you couldn't do anything. Now you can. The other part, equally cool, this is Bluetooth compatible. But what, what does that mean? Why is that important? Well, it means that on my app, the FMS Reflex app on my phone, that's right, there's an app now, I can change all those parameters at the field through my phone. So now you'd have true, easy way to manipulate these reflex gyros. So I'm gonna go through that whole process. Stick around. Hey, before we get into more details and such, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And of course, hey, if you like what I'm showing here, hit that like button, really appreciate it. If you have a smartphone, you know what we're going to do. We're going to install this on my iPhone. Click that link. It'll go to FMS page. It'll have the different operating systems. I'm going to click iOS. It'll pull up into the, uh, the App Store. Click Install, and you're good to go. All right, now that we have the app on, we're going to click it, and we're going to connect. It's going to search and find that particular reflex. We'll connect to that. Take a second for it to load up, and it'll show you that this is set up for a Ranger. Just by chance, we can kind of scroll down a little bit. We're going to look and see, hey, let's switch models. So we'll click Switch Model, and it's going to think a little bit, and then it's going to pop up with a whole mess of different models. We're not going to change the model, but if you click that and then confirm, then you'll be, uh, you'll be on that model. It'll have some parameters. Speaking of parameters, I just click Set Parameters, and the top, it's all about the stability, the angle, like safe mode angles. Next, those are the gains, where it says optimize no mode sensitivity. The next one is actually changing the amount of throws you have on the ailerons, elevators, and such. So if you wanted to limit the throw, you can do it from the app. Then we hit synchronize, and it saves it. Pretty simple. All right, now up in the upper right corner, it says settings. So if we click settings, we're going to go to a couple things. One, we can change the name of the device, which you just basically click up there and it'll type, hit confirm, and it goes and whatever you want to name it. I can only make it go like six characters, though. Uh, the other thing you can change, there's a password for logging in. The standard password, according to documentation, is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first time you use it, you're going to want to know that. Uh, and then basically it's, it's information about, you know, that particular gyro. Another thing in the upper left corner, there's nothing there, but that's actually back. Hope it helps.